Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sky Factory 3 Revisit. Uh, I am your host, Visual Pine, and I've done a couple things uh, between episodes. First off, uh, I realized because of the Batania setup I have, I'm going to need way more coal than uh, the coal chicken will provide. So we went, I went ahead and made us a uh, coal seed uh, garden cloche. And that'll just, you know, produce an insane amount of material uh, as it does. I'm also thinking about cutting uh, one of these Inferium productions and just doing all coal for a little bit. But, eh, we'll worry about that later. Uh, right now, my power is stable. Woohoo! Power is stable. I love it. Uh, as long as we're not using things like uh, uh, the Atomic Reconstructor a ton or the um, Empower, which we don't need to because... Well, it's not going to be worth anything. Um, so over here, I added a second mana spreader. Because this first one just, it could not keep up. And as you can see, I've got a lot of mana uh, pooling up. And so I decided to make a runic altar over here. So uh, I'll have to make another mana spreader and uh, start building runes to get further in Batania. Uh, but real quick, I wanted to show you a fun little trick. Uh, if you're playing Batania, and as far as I know, it's any version of Batania, you can do this. Um, and you find yourself running low on a certain color, and you don't want to sit there and waste um, fertilizer to uh, try to get the color you're looking for. Take your very last thing, uh, your very last uh, flower of the color you need, um, and you can right-click and plant them here in the ground, and you'll see this lovely little sparkly effect. And then you just proceed to bone meal them, uh, and they'll grow right up. And then, this is very important, you have to use shears to cut them down. Um, and that will give you what they call a uh, tall mystical flower. And it basically gives you uh, double the double the petals. So not only are you making it better, but you get double the resources. So uh, just a fun little tip to kick off the episode. Uh, in case you didn't know that, you know, sometimes these things get missed or not communicated with people. And uh, oh yeah, I did need the entire reason I was doing that. I did need... Uh, to make another mana spreader. So, uh, this will be orange, because why not? So, let's see. What are we going to do today? Man, I don't know. Uh, I've been sitting here thinking about it, loading this episode up, going, man, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I've got Batania up. I guess, in theory, I could go to the book and see what we could do. Um... But what I think I am going to do is get us started on immersive engineering because I should be challenging the well that didn't work like I wanted it to. Uh, I should be challenging the uh, end dragon soon so we could start getting into to that level of of uh, the game. I think that's where we're at. There are lots of ways that I could weaponize myself and and go fight the end dragon. I could use tinkers to make a really cool shuriken, um, but I want to blow it to hell. So we're going to go the immersive engineering route. And uh, to start that pass, um, I'm not worried about any of the power generation immersive energy, energy yeah, engineering does. I just want the craftable good stuff. Uh, where's the engineer's workbench? So for an engineer's workbench, I need treated planks and a treated wood fence, uh, which needs treated sticks. I can make some treated sticks real quick. Um, that and that. I've got plenty. I've used all the creosote oil that we... Oh, I guess I kind of need a crafting. I need a craft... Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. 
Shut up and take it. Go. Uh, so there's that. The engineer's workbench. And we're going to put that... Again, one of these days I'll, I'll make myself proper uh, facilities for all of this stuff. Like, really, if I'm going to make a nice little engineer's workbench, I should make a little engineer shop. Do I still have that witch in there? I do. I don't know how she's not dying, but we'll figure it out. Um, all right. Also, I seem to have gathered a bunch of wolves. I don't know how that happened, but here we are. Uh, I'll put the IE stuff over, over here for right now. Uh, so we got to put this engineer's workbench and it looks pretty blank, doesn't it? Um, I th think... <laughs> Uh, I need blueprints before I can get started. Um, so here and this is gonna be a learning thing because I didn't look up how to do this before I started. Um, and it's been a while, so this will be fun. Uh, ba -ba -ba. really? Huh. Huh. So I don't have to worry about... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't plant. Plant these instead. If I just leave the wheat there, it'll, it'll take over the whole field. Yeah. Let's just... Get a couple going. All right, there we go. And I'll just let it do its thing. Go team, go. Ah, uh, yeah. So that gives me if if be believed free paper that's nice cool let's do it that way um can have this game how's my uh oh we filled a disc finally rip uh blueprint So, blueprints, common projectiles, specialized projectiles, uh, engineers, arc furnace electrodes. So, let's make a specialized projectiles and make common projectiles. And then, I need a boomstick. Um, I thought I needed a blueprint for a boomstick, but maybe not. I need a boomstick. I don't want the railgun. I want the chemical thrower. I think just either the revolver. The revolver. I don't need the turrets. There's a barrel, there's a hammer. I thought there was another one in between those two. I thought there was a, a shotgun of some variety. Mining drill, that's good to know. If I ever need to mine anything in a different mod pack. Maybe it is just a revolver. Cool. Cool. 
Uh, I'm gonna get like ten of these just for funsies. Uh, I'd say I shouldn't have any issues making a lot of this stuff that requires steel because we've had a steel chicken for a while now. Or copper for that matter. Um, so that, so I should have everything to make that. All right, cool. We have a revolver. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, frog in my throat. Go over here to the bench and the sp Specialized is the Dragon's Breath cartridges, uh, which I need to make empty shells for, and I need gunpowder. <laughs> I have plenty of it. Um, that's a flare cartridge, Dragon's Breath. We just need aluminum grit, gunpowder, and empty shell. Make aluminum grit. We're gonna need um aluminum. And take that, and I need to grind it somehow. Um, hold on, just a regular old crusher, right? Okay, so I could use a actually additions crusher to do this. Um, is good. Well, that's the only thing there I didn't have the iron casing. There we go. Crusher, and then I need a point. I don't have. And I will worry about hiding this at some other point when I have like creative flight. That's the other thing I need to work towards is creative flight. Um, we'll hide it back here. Nobody needs to know. No one's gonna know. There, I'll let that crusher crush the grit or the aluminum. Ah, uh, creative flight. I th think I'm gonna do that by. Supremium? Or not at Supremium. Supremium? <sighs> Set bonus flight. So to do Supremium, I need Supremium armor cores, which require nether stars, which require wither skeleton skulls. So, let me take this one time, one thing at a time. Next should be the wither. Um, there's two ways I could do about go about this. Oh, a couple ways I can go about this. Um, one is I could keep sitting here waiting for legendary bags and hope I get two more wither skulls. Um, because that's literally what we're waiting on. Is legendary loot bags and I think I have two already somewhere in here I already have two wither skulls and yeah it's there or I could head to the nether and hunt withers for a little bit and hope I get two skulls from them which this whole uh, making make making weapons to go advanced weapons to go uh, sort out Monsters wouldn't be necessarily a bad idea. Um, so let me get the aluminum and I also need to make empty shells. And we'll just go hunt some withers and, um, oh yeah. I'm gonna need way more than 60, but. That's a good start. And I just need gunpowder then, right? Is this how this works? I don't know. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I have done this. Do I just need to have all the stuff in the, the table and it gives me the option? No. What am I doing wrong here? Because I've got the aluminum grit.
Click, click. Uh... Why aren't these highlighted? So, empty casing. Oh, empty shell. I need more paper. I made a casing and I'm sitting there looking at like I uh, it's the dumb one. Like, I have everything I need. Do, do you pine? Do you have everything? I don't think you do. So shell. Try this again. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need like um Okay, so I could do this. Cool. Cool. And I've got my dragon's breath. Uh. Oh no, what's the uh. Oh no, what's the hot bar? There we are. So... Yep, that'll do it. Hey, make some cooked pork chop, too. That was a testing fire. Testing shot. And I get the casings back. So, woohoo! Alright, so I'm gonna need more shells. Uh, because... Obviously... Now, I guess in theory, I could just make... The very basic uh, bullets with the casings that are a lot easier to make. Um, I guess I can't remove the blueprint until that. So I need some lead nuggets. That's also easy enough. Man! Uh, give me that. Give me lead. And... we go that'll be fine and so I do find it funny a revolver <laughs> is able to both uh, use cartridges and and, and uh, or shells and casings like it's uh... okay there we go Sewell cartridge um, I need more lead? I thought I had plenty of lead. Apparently not. And I need more gunpowder. Alright. So, I'm just gonna do this real quick, and then I'm gonna head into the nether. We're gonna do some, uh, wither farming. And hopefully don't anger the locals, because that would kind of suck. So I'll go do that, and I'll be right back. I need a lot of lead. That's okay. Um, yeah, let's head on in. I'll, I'll, when I get to the, the point that we need to be at, I will be right back.
uh, I came into the nether and was greeted by this. So that's what's been going on. Um, animals, passive animals have been spawning and then in that area and then coming into the nether. Well, enjoy, enjoy y'all stay. Now, with this gun, I gotta be very, very careful I don't anger any pigmen. Uh, so, gentlemen, if you will excuse me, I have a wither to hunt. Do, 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 do. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Y'all are in the way and need to get out. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. I made a mistake. Oh, hello. Oh, I, I hate this. I hate everything about this. This is awful. Run away! All right, that was round one. I don't think I got anything, uh, but I'm definitely gonna switch to the single shot rounds as opposed to the shotgun blast. Uh, that hurt, jerks. Um, where's the food I actually got? Okay. Uh, let me go get prepped for round two, and I'll see you back at the nether fortress. All right, I am back, and here we go. Uh, yeah, well, that shot is. Oh, that was a bad shot. Sir. Ah! This just ain't right. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Ah, uh, excuse me? Oh no, this is bad. This, this is just bad. I'm dead. Well, let's uh, do a quick montage of me trying to get my stuff back. Uh, see you when it's successfully accomplished, maybe. And by that I mean what is going to follow is going to be deaths. It just is. I, there's no if and its or buts about it. I'm going to do a couple uh, runs in there, and I'm really hoping I'll survive, but I am not hopeful. Uh, let's see if a rare loot bag will, will save the day. Nope. Nope, it did not. It, it absolutely did not. Uh, so let me, uh, work on that and, uh, yeah. See you, uh, enjoy this, this following death montage. I got everything back. Ow, 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 ow. All right, can I, can I live? Can I live? I can't live. I'm going to die now. Well, that didn't last very long now, did it? Oh, we got it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
told you. Enjoy this montage. This is gonna be good stuff. Well, we've got a pack of withers there. Uh, I'm not gonna survive very long naked, am I? Uh, maybe time to change strategy. Have any armor in here? Uh, Infidium apple. Might need to use the premium apple. Uh, I guess I could make myself a full set of diamond. Uh, otherwise, this is this is not gonna. This is it's gonna be pointless. Otherwise. Ah! No, give me, give me all my stuff. Give me all, my, all my stuff is gotten. Now just give me, let me, let me. Excuse me, excuse me, please. Well, I survived a little bit longer. Feel like I've got to need a weapon as I go in there. What's going on with the sky? Cool. Um. I'm wasting a lot of materials doing this. Um because I have to create, in order to survive at all, I have to have some kind of diamond. Um, so, every time I die, I'm putting diamond on. All right. Use the Supremium Apple, that'll help. And, uh... Yo, oh, that's way fast. Goggle face. This is it, boys. Let's go! <gasps> that was so close. Did it destroy my walkway? Oh my god. <laughs> had I not had the Supremium Apple, that would have gone way differently. Look at all that death. I'm so bad at this game. Boink. Give me a love. Don't hit me. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Gotta get. Gotta survive. Gotta live! Am I far enough away? Cool. Uh, where's my gun? There's my gun. Loaded. Cool. Um... I want to try to get maybe. I want to try, man. I know I just got my stuff back, but. Hitbox is super unsatisfying with this. Be fine. I mean, if I had gotten one head right there, I would have been happy. Okay. 
feel like I avenged myself, and that's what's important here. Also, these the amount of blazes here is nuts. Leave me alone. Quit spawning. <gasps> that was bad. I missed and I hit a, uh, a pigman. Run away. Y'all notice? Y'all know? They never know. <gasps> oh, that one knows. All right, retreat. Uh oh, it's a frenzy now. I'm gonna die again and it's all my fault. Like, they don't know. That one knows. I'm doomed. Uh oh, does this one know? I don't think that one knows. Hi, buddy. Am I safe? I'm safe. There. All right, well, uh, that was a fun misadventure. Um, I don't recommend it ever. Uh, things going that way, that that was awful. And uh, didn't even get what we went there for. So yeah, that was a botched, botched mission. Um, but that's okay. We kind of got our revenge, sort of. Uh, I wish there was a quick way to reload that. Is there a quick way to reload that? Anyway, that's been enough for me. Uh, all the death, the pain, the suffering. Uh, we're going to just roll over here. <laughs> I should not be trusted with this. Uh, we're just going to roll over here for the picture. Uh, it's not super. I, actually, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to do the screenshot at the end like I normally do. I'm going to wait. And uh, the, the the screenshot for this, this episode is going to be all those death markers. And uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's the smartest thing I could do because that's what happened this episode. So um, y'all have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget that like button. Don't forget that subscribe button if you're new around here and tell your friends about the the pine time uh whether it's the stream or this however you enjoy pine content uh yeah that's that's full or empty please just just tell your friends cuz you know we want to see more people around here uh but y'all have a fantastic day i've been the visual pine and i'll see you next time friends <laughs>